<laughs> no, I am not racist. Black Lives Matter, damn it! Ow. Catherine Jenner is not a hero. <laughs> not. Yeah. Definitely want those church chests, though. I wonder what's in that room. That's the path to get. That's the path to progress. Oh, so I have to go back to that other area first. You want to get the chests first. So. Because, yeah, that is the path to continue with the story. So then, what about that kid shooting that kid? Is that not a path to progress in the story? Oh. I don't know. I'm confused now. Because up here, remember, there's yeah, that there's kid the holding, dude the, holding lever. the lever. And he says, I need to get across that bridge. Well then, I don't know, I guess. We'll go, we'll go up here real quick. And get the chests just in case. Yeah, and then we'll... I'm going to go shoot that kid... And take a look at what's across there. Those fuckers breathing down your neck. <coughs> yeah. Noise. Uh, I'm just making sure I got the mana from one of those changing chests. Yeah. that camera messed up it had me you know a little worried there like oh shit but we're good but yeah you go this way then you go over here jump yeah, climb jump up the vines yeah climb there go up the ramp and then there he is yeah And he's blocking a door that looks like I have to blow it up with my bolts. Ah. Well, I don't know, I don't know just... Yeah, shoot the fucker down. So I guess that is the path. Yeah, that seemed to be a notifier of... Yeah, if that music starts playing a whole bunch... <laughs> that's continuation. Where it's all epic. Yeah, that's usually the path that leads the story down. Or the story leads down, so, whatever. Then I need to go back this way... And go down that little pathway to get the extra little treasure. Yeah, whatever is this way. There's got to be something. There's probably a mini treasure or something over here. That, yep. It's exactly what this area is. Oh, my bad. No, it's okay. Dude, even I was worried about it being, you know, continuation of the, the game, so... Phoenix Tyler! 
nice. Oh, God so damn. close. I've been really vigilant about getting all this shit. Yeah, man. And then you help me catch the ones that I missed by pointing out when the camera does that little funky move to indicate there's something more and uh -huh. I miss it. If you weren't helping me with this game, I actually wouldn't be as far on the health or mana bar at this point. It's just, I've, yeah, I've already beaten this a few times. So, there are certain things that I know to look for, at the very least. I'm not going to remember ev where every single item is, but I know what to look for sometimes. Well, you already said the last time, like, Jesus Christ, I haven't played the game like this before where, right off the bat, my health and mana are keeping up with each other. Yeah, I did say that, that... I almost always upgrade the health twice before upgrading the man or yeah the magic once. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a weird gameplay for for us, especially since this is my first time in years of playing this game. I just love this game. It's so good. Oh my god! There's your second. That's what I'm talking about. You just barely got that first one, the first magic one, before you got the second health upgrade. I hate when it won't target that one random pot. Feather! Triangle. Well, fuck, that one doesn't want to work either. I always try to smash as much as possible running around. Especially in rooms like that, yeah. Oh, you fuckers. Damn, those guys went down fast. When they're not pulling their cheap underground move, they're easy to kill. But when they're underground, I can't touch them. So fucking cheap. That's another improvement for God of War 3. It developed the ability to just pull them straight out of the ground. So then, if they strike you from underground, that's your own damn fault. Because you could have easily stopped them. Not the case in this game. They get fucking cheap with that shit. You know, I've always I already had to waste my mana that I just got. That's because I forgot to change it from the lightning bolt. So slightly my own goddamn fault, but still, it's the principle of the matter. God damn it! I know I'm fucking random as hell, but... There's still a pot over there. Yeah, I'm gonna go get it. I just wanted to... claim the chests. I think that's it, though. Yep. Okay, now let's see what this... button does. Hey! Woo! Damn! Cyclone of Chaos. I love that move. I, I sometimes get a little bit spammy with it. And the Spirit of Hercules is also a really good one. Though I still prefer Square Square Triangle. That is the easiest combo to pull off that does huge damage. 
That's a lot of what I just pull off. I don't really use the special moves that much. Square, sh square triangle, so you get off a couple of quick hits to get them into the combo, and then triangle is a finisher, so it's absurdly strong. So Damn. close! If I remember right, the magic spells only go up to level 3. And then the blades go up to 5. This is what's ha uh, what happens when you're diligent about getting as many of the breakables as possible as you go. They didn't clean up all the cutscenes. Kratos! Praise Athena, you've arrived! Ah! No! Kratos! Kratos! Find me! You must find me! Athens depends on it! Okay, demanding ass bitch. Ooh. Drop down. Yeah, you've already been to this area. Oh, have I? Yeah. This is where you fought the, the Cyclops. Right. Right. Yeah, see, that was the, the one bitch where that I got fucking the key fell from. off the thing. Yeah. It fell off the fucking balcony because she's a moron. Gotta love those camera angles. A lot of this, a lot of my bad pl platforming comes from the fact that I can't control the camera. Yeah, because I uh, on Zelda I don't have platforming issues like this. If you can see where you're going, yeah, it makes it pr pretty easy. Platforming is not a difficult thing to do. It's just yeah. When it moves the camera for you, you never know how the angle is going to change. You just have to react to it fast enough. And right. when you're trying to balance like that, it makes it a little difficult. After major cutscenes like that, I always do the backup save. So at least if something you're getting happens... pretty close to being done with Athens. I'm just saying, like, when you take a look at the recording, if you notice anything wrong with it, at least we can start off over again on a major save point. Yeah. No, I, I understand the, yeah, the backup save. If you're feeling a little extra paranoid and really don't want to have to repeat shit, backup save. They're especially useful for RPGs. A game like this, I probably wouldn't bother with a backup save personally, but I'm also a lot more used to these games than you are. I've replayed these several times, like the entire series. Well, what I'm talking for Ascension. What I'm talking about is like audio issues or video issues on one of the recordings, and we have to go back and repeat it. I'd rather, you know, be able to repeat off of a, a close save point. No, yeah, no, I know, I know what you mean. I'm just saying, this is probably isn't the kind of game I would do that for. I'd be more likely to do that for RPGs. Where the game takes forever. Like, 40, 50 hours or more. Okay, usually when it has these chests, and then there's a really long point, yeah, I not... make a rule of grabbing them. Yeah, you're not... This is a pretty much a point of no return. Like, 
You can come back, but there's no reason why you ever should. Like, unless you realize, oh shit, I forgot something major. I need to go do it real quick. Like you, you missed a chest or something and you really want it. You could go back, as far as I know. I've never actually done it. <clears throat> because, yeah, there's really no need to. I'm not really that bad of a player. Huh? I'm not really that bad of a player. You never said you were. You've been handling yourself. Bitch, you fucked. See, big fight after crossing the bridge. Oh. Fucking hate Gordon's. Damn, you killed that one fast. I wasn't fucking around with that bitch. There's a shiny! Good, my boy. Good. Athena has chosen wisely. I knew it was so. Who are you? So, you have the blades. The skin as pale as the moon. You are the one indeed. Perhaps Athens will survive at that. <laughs> but be careful. Don't want you dying before I'm done with this grave. A grave? In the middle of a battle? Who will occupy it, old man? You will, my son. Oh, I've got a lot of digging to do indeed. All will be revealed in good time. And when all appears to be lost, Kratos, I will be there to help. Fucking Zeus or something. That's the thing, it never actually says who that is. At least as far as I know. Everyone kind of assumes it's Zeus, but I don't remember ever actually seeing any real proof. Feather! You're just the, shaking your head at me. Yeah, the, by the time you upgrade your magic the second time, you'll be almost finished with your third health upgrade. I'm just making sure I'm not missing a damn thing. Nah, as far as I can tell, you got everything. But, dude, I'm, I'm trying to do the best that I possibly can with this playthrough. Hey, man. Play it like you want to. I'm just along for the ride. That's still a little bit weird. You just being along for the ride. I'm gonna pause real quick. No. <laughs> I didn't say you could do that. That was very rude. <laughs> Well, that was going to be a really bad burp. Well, hey, you have the seven orbs you needed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Sweet. Hey. A lot of, I mean, it's still technically, I guess I could just stop the recording. So I'm gonna cut.